up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time that i upload a new video and if you are not already make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter at the hair life and the hair life official so y'all it is officially september meaning fall is right around the corner y'all know fall is my favorite season so of course i had to start us off with another popping fall hair tutorial so um y'all i'm literally obsessed with this orange color i definitely want to do this longer like uh, i'm obsessed with this hair color so we're gonna get right into it i'm starting off with some raw indonesian hair this is not from my company guys this was a vendor that i was testing out um but this is not my hair so i'm going to be using my blommy bleach and developer y'all know if y'all have watched my previous hair um, videos that I love this bleach um, and then I did end up having to go into my Wella bleach because I ran out of my Blimey bleach but I'm gonna mix that up and we're going to start applying that all over this unit and I know someone is probably gonna ask yes you can do this with 613 hair you guys the only reason that I did not do this on 613 hair is because I didn't have any on hand at the time but when i do this over it will definitely be on 613 hair so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and apply this bleach everywhere and i did let this process for about 45 minutes and i'm gonna show you guys i'm pretty sure you can see right there that that bottom piece of hair was literally already starting to turn and the hair pretty much it got to pretty much 613 but it did not evenly distribute so i did have to bleach this twice um the second time around i only did the bottoms like the tips and then a few other darker pieces um, but besides that the hair did bleach pretty well So for this second bleach process, I believe I only processed this for about 30 to 35 minutes. And um, after that, I did go ahead and wash it and I did let it sit in some conditioner before I moved on to the watercolor. So you guys already know, I start off with hot water. I do not boil my water. I just get it nice and hot from the sink. And I'm using a door dye today. I will be using Cajun Spice, French Cognac, and Ginger for this hair color. So starting off, I'm using the entire bottle of Cajun Spice. And y'all know I don't waste no color over here. I make sure I get out all the color that I can get out. So the next color I'm going in with is Ginger. And I use about half of that bottle and then I use a little bit of French Cognac. I do not measure you guys. I'm sorry about that, but you guys can pretty much see how much I use from each bottle. But that's the thing about it being, you know, custom to your liking. You can put in more of another color, put in less of another, y'all know. So I'm just gonna take the whole entire wig, dip it in and y'all can see, like, look how pretty this color already, oh my God, y'all. When I pulled that wig out of there, I was so excited because it looked beautiful. Um, and then I did let it sit in there for about five minutes to just get it nice and saturated with the color. And after that, um, I did let it soak in some conditioner again. And this is a clip of it while it was wet. And yeah, you guys, I, you know, let it air dry. Um, I, initially, I did straighten it. I was going to cut it into a bob, but I just kind of put some body curls in it. And that is what you guys are seeing. And I didn't show my face because it did not look right with the makeup that I had for the day. So um, that's why, you know, I was giving y'all a side shot tease, you know. But this is the color, you guys. I hope y'all enjoy this. Let me know if you do. Let me know if you're going to try this. Let me know what colors y'all want to see me do next. And I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye.